Hi, Scorpio. You need to know this right now for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio. These are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention, or you're beginning to recognize something, or you're getting attention and recognition. So Scorpio, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. This can be an announcement being made or victory and success. Clarify the six of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the six of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the six of wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck, like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Now Scorpio... You can tell me that they're getting your attention and maybe you're blocking them. Mm -hmm. You can tell me you're stuck on whether or not you want to get their attention. Scorpio, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're realizing that they blocked you. Scorpio, you can tell me that something is being brought to your attention and you're stuck on what to do. Or something is being brought to your attention and you're blocking this person. Scorpio, you have the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So Scorpio, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Four of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Scorpio, they could be getting your attention offering this cup here, but you're stuck. 
and you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Or Scorpio, you're stuck on whether or not you should get their attention here. You just want to wait and think about it here because you have this fear this offer won't be accepted. Scorpio, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Scorpio. Clarify the magician for Scorpio. Clarify the magician for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up and one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys had this tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games manipulation or you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to figure out like if it if it could work both ways, but it works perfectly, Scorpio. When I say that, you may be playing mind games, and manipulation, or you just may be pissed off here. Because it seems like they could be getting your attention and maybe you're blocking it out. You don't want to see it. Maybe you're saying, you know what? I'm just stuck. I don't know if I want this. I don't even think I want this offer. Is it some form of mind games or manipulation? Or you're just pissed off and you're saying, I don't even want this offer. Let them wait. Just let them wait. You know, because I, you know. Okay. Anyway. So Scorpio, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts. With direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. So, are you trying to orchestrate this shit? Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Scorpio, you could be walking away or returning here. <clears throat> As it stands, Scorpio, I just feel like you're kind of holding back from this person, restraining yourself, restricting yourself. 
And there's a confrontation taking place here that could be questioning you, Scorpio, because they're getting your attention. And maybe you're just wanting to block it out. I don't want it. I'm mad and I'm walking away here. I'm walking away. Scorpio. <laughs> Like, I feel like unless you're trying to orchestrate some type of confrontation with this person and go back and forth with this person or get in, just come with some type of mind games with this person, Scorpio, you could be mustering the strength and courage to return here. Wanting to come in with this cup of love, but before you do it with this cup of love, it's just like, um, how can I say? Okay, let's just use an example. That would be the best thing. <laughs> okay okay <laughs> i'm trying to think about it so let's just say okay i sent you out for some crackling oat brand cereal and some milk i sent you out like seven o'clock last night for some crackling oat brand and some milk and you never came back. I called you and told you to bring it to me. Okay, well, you left the you left to go get it, but you never came back. When you do come back, like when you do come back, I'm going to ask you, where have you been? I'm going to go off on you, okay? And the pretense is, is that I'm going off on you because I was I had my mouth tuned up for my crackling note brand and milk. And you never came back. But really, I want to know where the hell you been at all night. I want to know where you were all night. So Scorpio, I feel like there's a return that can happen on your behalf, Scorpio. But you're going to go off on this person, some type of orchestrated back and forth, tit for tat, bait them into some type of confrontation here, Scorpio. But what you really want to do is offer this cup to them you understand what i'm saying it's like i have to do there's a prerequisite i have to do this before i can do that type of thing i just hope you guys hear me you have the page of swords gemini libra aquarius this is immature premature communication but this is also you spying researching investigating looking into someone looking into someone's social media facebook instagram snapchat twitter riding past someone's home riding past someone's job asking a friend of a friend of a friend this is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research looking into something so scorpio listen you can tell me there was some immature premature communication happening here or you went looking and spying clarify the page of swords for scorpio clarify the page of swords for scorpio clarify the page of swords for scorpio it is clarified with you scorpio cancer or pisces the queen of cups this queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Scorpio, this is you. Clarify the queen of cups for Scorpio. Clarify the queen of cups for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify the queen of cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Scorpio, either you're indecisive here or you're blocking. Now Scorpio, you can tell me that yes, you guys had this immature, premature communication. They got your attention concerning something or something was brought to your attention and you just want to block them, block them, block them here, Scorpio. You're pissed off. You want to walk away and block them. But Scorpio, you're indecisive about something 
and maybe you want to look and spy and research here this may be the reason why you're stuck and you're just thinking long and hard because maybe it's you wanting to come in with this cup you just have this fear it won't be accepted you guys may have had some type of argument, but you're wanting to return to this person here, Scorpio. You're just indecisive on whether or not to do so, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Scorpio. And maybe you just saw something, Scorpio, that made you just want to block them. You don't want their cup. You don't want their offer. You're pissed off. You're just like, I need to walk away or detach emotion from the whole situation. And so, oh, oh. <laughs> well, someone here is saying this. I want you. I do. I want you. I want you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you want them. Or they want you, Scorpio. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Scorpio. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh my goodness gracious. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. What have you gotten yourself into, Scorpio? Mm, mm, mm. I said, mm, mm, mm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for August the 23rd through August the 24th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.